In this video tutorial, we will look at how you can transcribe audio and video files with MaxQDA 2022. Basically, you can perform transcriptions directly in MaxQDA or use third party software and insert the transcripts into MaxQDA afterwards. In this video, we will transcribe directly in MaxQDA and start by importing our media files. In the Import tab, you will find the appropriate import options for audio and video files. After importing them into MaxQDA, the files will be shown in the Document Browser. To transcribe, I right-click on my audio file and select Transcribe Audio File from the Context menu. MaxQDA then automatically switches to transcription mode. In this, we see the audio file displayed in the multimedia browser above. Below the multimedia browser, there is a document browser window in which we can type our transcription, and the transcription settings window to the left allows us to configure the transcription. I can now play the recording by pressing F4 or clicking the play icon. Using F4 might save you some time. If I press F4 again, the recording is paused and I can start to type my transcription into the document browser. Thank you for participating in our interview. If I now press F4 again, MaxQDA jumps back a few seconds in the recording so that I can listen to the last segment again and compare it with my transcript. Participating in our interview. I can adjust this rewind interval in the transcription settings. Additionally, if I click on this icon in the multimedia browser, I can access the control panel, which allows me to adjust the volume of the audio file and the playback speed. For participating in our interview, in our study, we are particularly interested in your work life balance and well being. Now the interviewer has asked a question, and we see that there is a speaker change. If we activate the automatic speaker change function in the transcription settings, a timestamp is set when I press Enter. The corresponding speaker abbreviation is inserted together with the timestamp. In order for MaxQDA to correctly assign the speakers, I have placed an I for the interviewer at the beginning. Now I press F4 again and listen to the interviewee's answer. Typical workday in your life. Well, a typical workday in my life. Um, most days, I, um, I'm a self-employed English teacher, so... When transcribing focus groups with MaxQDA, I can also define speaker abbreviations, which I can edit in the transcription settings. Here I also have the option of inserting text modules, for example, to make certain occurrences in my audio or video file more recognizable. With F6, you can now insert additional timestamps. Make sure that the order of the timestamps in the transcript corresponds to the order of the timestamps in the audio file. The timestamps now connect the audio file and the transcript. If you click on one of the timestamps in the transcript, the audio file will be played from that point. Well, a typical work day in my life. Um... By clicking on this icon, you can also display the timestamps in a list view and add initial comments to them for example, to sum up segments. When I'm done transcribing, I can close the transcription mode by closing the multimedia browser. Now I can continue working with the transcript in my MaxQDA project, code it, and perform a variety of deeper analyses. And that's it for today. We wish you all the best with your project.